Hello everybody, my name is Antonio Gonzalez and I'm back with another New Balance shoe review. This week we're going to be taking a look at Jaden Smith's newest Vision Racer for New Balance, obviously, right? So without any further ado, let's get into the review. So this is going to be Jaden's 11th Vision Racer in just two years, can you believe that? I wasn't a big fan of the last two, the Trippy Summer Pack or the Grey Sneakers. Uh, not my favorite, but these ones hit the spot for me. Let me show you why. This pack came with two colorways, a white with Mirage Violet and a black with Mirage Violet. I let my Instagram followers decide which one I got. So if you want to decide next time, be sure to follow me. So taking a look at the box, it's nothing crazy. It's your simple New Balance Vision Racer box that we get for all of them. But this is probably one of my favorite ones. Let me tell you why. First off, this box is 100% recycled material and this box is sturdy as hell. I can stack all my shoe boxes on top of this box and it'll be fine. Um, this probably is the biggest plus for me. But this review isn't about boxes, this review is about the shoes, so let's take a look at them. Looking at the tip of the shoe, we do have a white rubber that's going to make this shoe much more durable than like a nylon or something else. We see this with all the Vision Racers, so it's nothing we haven't seen before. Above that we have a synthetic leather wrapping around the whole shoe. It's more of a marble textured white rather than a solid white. Just like the rest of the sneakers on this line, you're going to have Vision Racer all along the shoe. Just in case you forgot what these shoes are called, I highly doubt it because when you step out in these shoes, everyone's going to ask you, what are you wearing? This model is definitely a neck turner. Finally, looking at the toe box that's not white, we get a strawberry milk colored pink that encompasses the toe box. It is fantastic. I love this colored pink way, way better than I think the uh, hot pink Vision Racer is in my opinion. In fact, I got them right here. Compare. Ooh, this is loud. This is if you want to make a statement. This is, is like, I, like, I know what I'm wearing. Like, do you? Like, this is, wow, this pops in your face. This is like your pop locking and dropping. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense. Above that, we got more of that synthetic leather with a slight gradient of pink to purple that's just barely big enough to notice. Personally, one of the biggest things to catch my eyes on this shoe are the laces and how they are oriented. I absolutely love them. So speaking of laces, we do get two pairs of laces and you know that's like my bread and butter. I love when we get extra laces and shoes. We have a clean white ones that I'm definitely gonna swap out with these pink ones. So as much as I like the lacing system, I think the tongue gets underlooked in my opinion because of the lacing system. The mesh tongue has a full color gradient that looks really nice, but you don't really get to see it. The tongue tag has that classic Vision Racer tab and it's gigantic, but we like it. Now looking at my favorite part of the shoe, the side. We finally get to see that full mesh pink to purple gradient. That N is something I've personally never seen. A pink reflective end is something I've always wanted for a long time and I hope they continue to have fun with the reflective hits they have on the shoe. Looking inside the shoe we have a white sock mesh liner and a recycled insole with Jade and Signature on it which we see with all the Vision Racers. The back of the shoe we got something new. We still got that same plastic guard going on to prevent you from getting a fat tire. But the New Balance is a small button opposed to the huge NB we're used to seeing, which kind of gives it a sunset vibe, and I'm sure it was intended, and I really like it. I've yet to mention this, but it goes without saying, this midsole is double C thick. This is going to add height for all my short kings out there, and if you're already tall, it's going to make you even taller, so congrats on that I guess. The midsole contains 5% EVA foam regrind to help alleviate potential waste and of course, we like that. Finally, we take a look at the outsole. We have a clear outsole with the classic triangle traction we see on all the Vision Racers. But what is different is what the sole says. Normally we would get, do you see it yet? And before we'd got Vision Racers, but now we have Sunset Chasers. Personally, I'm more of a Sunrise Chaser, but I get the vision. Ha, no pun intended, right? Um, but there's nothing better than a California sunset for sure, so I get where Jaden's coming from. Well, we saw how the shoe looked, now let's see how the shoe fits. I'm a size 12, so I'll let you know if it's true to size.
Well, everyone, that's going to be it for me today. Do you like the black models or the white models? Please let me know down in the comments below and I'll catch you next time for another New Balance shoe review. Bye.